All right, it's that busy time of year where the the uh, it seems like the needs in the community continue to grow and, and uh, the demands increase as the holidays approach. But as always, uh, the folks from Christ Church Among the Oaks step up and address those needs and and uh, and uh, do as much as possible for this community. And there's just a ton of examples about that. Um, last week we asked for granola bars for the uh, uh, kids from Southwoods Elementary who are not able to get the uh, the breakfast that's provided at the school. So the school staff actually hands out granola bars to uh, get those kids through um, uh, something to eat uh, before lunchtime. So uh, there's a post on our Facebook page today, uh, Christ Church Among the Oaks, and you'll see uh, 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 the mountain of granola bars that were delivered to the school today by Margot Cleary. Uh, that picture is on our Facebook page, and, and thanks to Margo for, for handling that for us. Uh, and uh, as always, we're the, we've helped the kids. This Sunday the 16th, uh, another project that Margo's spearheading is the uh, Thanksgiving bags that go to uh, the, the families who have been uh, deemed as in need of assistance with Thanksgiving dinner. Um, so uh, those bags will with the shopping list will be distributed starting this Sunday the 16th and they will should be returned uh, to the uh, church on November 13th and then will be uh, those filled bags plus a turkey plus a gift card to Winn-Dixie will all be delivered on Friday I think it's the 18th um, and then uh, the school will distribute those to the 84 families that uh, won't have Thanksgiving without our help so all of that's going on for Southwoods. Uh, we also coming up on uh, November 6th. Uh, that's when we'll observe All Saints Sunday. Uh, and as you may know or recall, we um, read the names of, of uh, saints known and unknown and those folks that have, uh, have departed before us. Um, and those names are honored in red during the service. So if you've got someone, uh, a family member or a friend who's no longer with us and you'd like them remembered on All Saints Sunday, uh, you can uh, give us that name on Sunday. We'll write it, uh, uh, we can write it on a slip of paper or you can email uh, Jenny Johnson and she's compiling that list for us and her email is in the bottom of this video email. So just check out the body and down below and you'll see Jenny's email down there for your names. And uh, finally, on uh, Sunday, Tim Cummings mentioned that the uh, ALS walk to raise money for ALS research in St. Augustine is Saturday, November 5th at 8 a.m. and they will be leaving from Ripley's. Uh, Tim is uh, 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 instrumental in helping raise funds for ALS in honor of his wife, Bobby, who died back in 2008. Uh, and he has a team walking in the walk this year, uh, November 5th, again at 8 a.m., and you can register on the uh, ALS website, um, als.org, if I'm not mistaken, and just pick Florida and look for Bobby's Dream Team, and you can there register to walk or just donate to the walk. And if you need any other information, just check with Tim, uh, and uh, he can help you uh, with whatever questions you may have. So, a lot going on. Uh, we will be as usual, 9 o'clock on Sunday morning uh, at 120 Meadow Lane in Volano Beach. And uh, we look forward to seeing everybody there. And I uh, hope you're having a great week.